Anybody here know what a merkin is? Yes. A lot of people. Okay, great. Educated crowd. I like that. I like that. For those of you who don't know, don't feel bad. I learned about a merkin on Family Guy like 20 years ago, okay? A merkin, M-E-R-K-I-N, you can Google it when you get home, is a pubic wig, okay? Hear me out. It's a wig for your pubic area. They were invented, 1800s France, I think. The prostitutes wore them to cover venereal diseases while they still turned tricks. Don't get mad at me, I didn't invent it. I'm just letting you know what it is. But that's, but that, that's what they use, now it has, a, it has a modern day use. Like if you ever watch a show like Westworld on HBO, the women have to do a lot of full frontal nudity uh, within their acting, right? It just happens every show. So if you've ever been on the set of a TV show or a movie, you'd know that everybody on the other side of the camera looks a lot like me. It's a <laughs> It's not, it's just a, you know, a army of grease bags on one side of a camera, and then this lady's supposed to expect it to drop her robe and then give an Emmy-winning performance. It's, it's rough on the actress, so to help them feel a little bit better, they give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a, it's like a comb over for that area, I guess, but it's just a little pubic wig. It's just a wig that goes over your pubic area to make you feel a little bit more clothed, if you will, right? So we all are aware a merkin is a pubic wig, a wig for your pubic area. My brother comes to my apartment and asks me, he goes, hey man, do you know what a merkin is? And I go, yeah. And he goes, what is it? And I go, it's a pubic wig. And he goes, yeah, 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 but like, what is it? Go, it's a pubic wig, it's a wig for your, your pubic area. And he goes, oh, because I thought it was a wig for your head made out of pubic hair. <laughs> and then he says, and I thought, wouldn't that smell kind of bad? And I was like, what? And for whatever reason, that's the first part I addressed. I was like, no, it wouldn't smell bad because if someone's gonna take the time to weave together pubes big enough for a wig to go on a human head, they're gonna go ahead and wash those pubes. <laughs> And then I was just mad at myself. I'm like, why are we even talking about this? This isn't a thing anyone's gonna want. You're never gonna see this two-day order on Amazon. No one's ever gonna walk into a party like, hey, what do you think? Oh, looks like a giant pussy. Get out. What's wrong with you?